Assalamu alaikum, you guys. Long time no see. I hope everyone had a blessed Ramadan. I know that it's just been a very um, complex time with everything that's going on in the world. And then feeling that, of course, Ramadan is just a deep time for many people to rejuvenate their spirit and to feel healthy, connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a very awkward time, I feel like, you know, for everyone um, with the um, Orlando shooting and what just happened with Turkey. Um, it's been really intense. So I wanted to go over a post I posted on our um, say, um, Instagram. And if you guys don't already have our Instagram, please add us. It's FBFI2015. And uh, this is 10 rules of Zen. And Zen is just basically a state of being, almost unbeing, you know, just a very uh, peaceful state and realizing certain things, and I guess not realizing certain things. Zen is simple but complicated. It's a place you go when you really get there and you just know you're there. Here's 10 ways of really getting the rules of them. Number one is to let go of comparing. And so I want to talk to you guys about these. I mean, these rules are just so simple to say, but they are life-changing when you implement at least one of them. And I want you to try to really implement these rules. So let go of comparing. What does that mean? You definitely need to let go of comparing yourself to your sister, the lady across the street, the way that this person walks or talks, the way that this person's finances are um, lined up, and you're, you feel always, you're always in a state of judging yourself when you're comparing. And also we do it, um, sometimes women and men do it as parents, we judge our children, we compare our children, and that's not right by the sunnah. Speaking of the way Islam taught us is to not compare, because it makes people feel inferior. So that's number one. Number two is to let go of competing. Same thing about along the same line as comparing. You don't want to compare yourself. And with comparing, many times we compete with other people. It's called keeping up with the Joneses. It's an old term in America. Like we, you don't want to be with your neighbors. Like you're always competing with your neighbors. They have a new car. Their kids doing this in school. You're just right behind them. Like, oh, I need to do that. That's, that's where I need to be. Find your own zen. Find what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pushing you to do. Because in your arena, it might be totally different than the person next to you. It could be your spouse. It can be your neighbor. It could be someone in your family. You might be um, feeling like you need to compete with them. And that's a natural feeling that many of us get. But that means that you also need to check in with them. Let go of judgment. Very simple to say. Again, really hard to do. Human beings naturally judge. We always want to figure out stuff before we figure it out. So when we meet another person or we meet another circumstance, we judge that because we want to just sum it up. It says let go of anger. And as Muslims, again, this is something we're taught. And in, in most religions are taught spiritually that anger is so toxic. I think this Ramadan has just been very tiring for most of us, honestly, in our soul. And so after the Ramadan is ended, after we feel cleansed a little bit, it's very important that have one habit that we remember from our fasting is to let go of anger because we cannot get angry while fasting that breaks our fast you know um let go of regret it's number five i mean that one is big uh i don't even know if i've even learned you know that i think it takes years to learn that i think you know especially as an entrepreneur especially as a mom and a wife in this society you just it just connects to you in your heart and your core of who you are and you just don't ever feel like you're Completing anything in life sometimes, and you just always in a state of regret. It's a cycle, it's a vicious cycle, and all of these um, attributes that I have, um, uh, have, have stated, they have something in common. They are almost like a self-attacking attribute, and then is a self-awareness place that you want to be. Let go of worrying, number six. Mm -hmm. Let go of blame. Yes, definitely. Let go of guilt. Let go of fear. And number 10, laugh at least once a day. Now, we know this as Muslims, you're supposed to smile, and it's sunnah, that's the way the problem is. Allah put blessings in barakah and um, blessings in the smile. Just smiling at someone in Islam is stated to be charity. Be happy, man. I mean, happiness, like we say, is not a destination. It's, it's fair. It's, it's, if you want it, you just say, I am happy. You need to declare that. The same way you declare that, I'm not feeling well today. Oh, man, today is not my day. It's not my day. What's up, you wake up? Today's not my day. 
you're throwing out all the um, 12 hours of your day, roughly, you're going to be up. You know, you spend a certain amount of time sleeping. So you've already pushed that aside completely because you woke up and you said, one thing happened, one thing didn't go right. Out of a million things that are uniquely happening in the universe for you, one thing didn't go right. And you, you stated that. So instead, laugh, sincerely laugh. Don't laugh at people. Don't make fun of people. We you know it's fun. It's fun. But don't, don't do that. Laugh at something that's, you know, healthy for you. Go look at some kittens in the middle of the day. Look at the kittens on YouTube. Look at videos that are positive, that make you laugh in a positive manner. Not laugh at someone else's demise, you know? Because we have a lot of that in our society. Every time I open Facebook, it's some video of somebody getting punched or something. And it, it, it you know, you want to, naturally you all want to laugh, but it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's not really that funny because it's not happening to you. So if it's happening to you, you know, it's interesting. Um, but going back to number one, definitely remember, don't compare, don't compete, let go of the a judgment, let go of the anger, let go of the regret, let go of the worrying, constant worrying. Be in the state of understanding that everything, we call it risk, Allah sent down with us from birth. We believe that our angels have it. Everything from our money to everything that, uh, and the conversation we're having is already predestined. So why are we constantly in the state of worrying? It is so tiring. We, we, we compete with people. We judge people. We get angry when things don't go all our way, and then we worry. We worry while we're competing with people. But it's like we, we mix the most unhealthiest habits constantly within our heart, and it becomes a habit, you know? So the beauty of Ramadan is that we at least, uh, uh, hopefully, mashallah, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we've gotten rid of some of these, but you need to be aware. And so check out again our Instagram, SBFI2015. And um, this post was up, let me see what today is. Ooh, it's up today, which is uh, June. So inshallah, check out our post. Um, and comment, like, subscribe, and share. And any questions you have pertaining to this topic or any of the topics that we featured, inshallah, you know, email us, comment, and I'll definitely try to get back to you.